it's good you guys um so we doing like a back-to-back -back type of thing so we're just gonna hop right back into it uh this is this is no breaks basically um so yeah we still kind of we still kind of feeling what happened last uh last video right yeah yeah so we're still on a pretty somber note yeah pretty sad note but um he gave me like a little not, not even like a deep dive like a little look into what's to come he said it ends on a happier note so we're gonna get back into it uh free video link will be down in the description hope you guys enjoy the reaction let's get into the video what are we supposed to do with this the greatest icon of our sport he just got killed come out to drop off flowers, balloons, a t-shirt, or even an old racing hat. They've come to say goodbye to their fallen hero. We all sat down sometime the next week and said, you know, dad, dad would want us to be at the racetrack. He'd be really, and it's, you hear people say that when they have loss or they, they lose, you know, somebody. Somebody's get, you know, somebody dies, you know, you hear that all the time. Well, they'd want us to keep going, and you think, well, how do you really know what they, how do, well, but yeah. you do, you know, and I always, I'll never, dad would have really been pissed off if we didn't go race. You know, we, we had to go racing the next Sunday, and I knew what my, uh, I knew what my responsibility was. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do or needed to do in order to deal with it. And that was to honor my friend and, um, and he just seems so like, like he's just speechless. Like, you don't really even know what to say. Yeah. Racing will go on at Rockingham. Perhaps that will give these drivers and their crews a chance to get together in the garage, laugh a bit, perhaps shed a tear, then go out and race like hell to honor the man in the three car. I've had an incredible week um, dealing with um, the loss of Dale and, and what all it's meant to, to us. I mean, I was, a, I was his friend. We all loved to watch him race his car, and, and those were the things that, that were, that, that we're gonna miss. My, my personal thinking is that when this weekend's over and we've raced, then um, next week, we can talk about winning the Daytona 500. I still have a uh, have a habit of holding but up three fingers be on the third lap, a week like that if I'm watching a race. Dale. So like you still do that to the track? Oh yeah, I, if I'm at if I'm at the track, yeah. I had to try to move forward, but um, me and I don't think a lot of others we didn't. We didn't move forward very, very fast. And then the next week and the next week, they just all started running together. And I had this, I had this awesome race car that Dale's team was building me and I didn't run as well. I just, I don't know. I just, it's probably me, probably me not being able to do my job like I was paid to do. And by the time, you know, the return to, to the Daytona International Speedway for the July 4th race rolled around, like we, we hadn't done anything at all. And um, Daytona loomed ahead. Now tonight, one of the sport's brightest evenings is certainly saddened by one of its darkest moments. 
This is the first Winston Cup race here at Daytona since Dale Earnhardt was killed in a crash at the conclusion of the Daytona 500 back in February. Look at that. I really like this racetrack. It's one of my favorite tracks. And the win here uh, uh, would really mean a lot to me and the rest of the team as, as well. Wait, can I keep pause it real quick? I was just finna say that. I need to pause it. I feel like now, you know how like people have like a favorite driver? Like not everybody yeah. likes one driver. I feel like Dale was that one driver everybody liked. You'd be 100% surprised. Um, really? He, was, he wasn't that driver that everyone liked all the time. Who was the driver um, that everybody liked all the time? Bill Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't know a single person that ever could hate Bill Elliott for any reason. He won most popular driver so many times in a row that he stopped himself from being nominated as most popular driver. Wow. Because he was such a popular driver. Well shit. Yeah. Hey, it pays to get hated though. Sometimes. Yep. And then and then Junior Nation took over and then Junior was most popular driver until Chase Elliott. And now Chase Elliott's the most popular driver. Damn, it's just a it's just a smooth back and forth, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a generational waiting back for, and waiting forth. For junior waiting for Junior's uh Junior has a kid has to start uh right? driving, a generational you know? back and forth and he gotta get it. <laughs> but no, there was wasn't always the most like loved well-received driver in the world there's plenty of times that he got booed for what he did because he was such a hard um driver and such a uh such a he was he wasn't dirty but like he he was aggressive mm -hmm. and some people didn't like that the people that really liked that were like the 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 blue collar hard workers you know the people that could relate to him i get you yeah uh, wait, can you, are you in the stream? Are you back in? Yes. Yep. I'm, can you hear I'm it watching. and everything? Yep. Okay, Everyone's I was good. Sure. I bet. Certainly, Dale Earnhardt is on the minds of a lot of fans and a lot of teams. But, Benny, these teams have come here to work as well as remember. Man, I miss Benny that Carson's too. That July race that was the, at Gate uh, the Home in dude. 2001 wait, was on, one on the right you know, on the right side, work. next to Alan As Bassett. Well. Fuck. Just remember. I, I mean, it shows him for like a whole second. Well, certainly, Dale Earnhardt is on the minds of oh, a lot of fans and yeah. a lot of teams. I was trying to see who but Benny, these exactly. teams have come oh, to work. Yeah. Gotcha. He, well he, he would commentate for like NBC and TNT and stuff like that. And that he had July such race like a, at Daytona a great in voice 2001. Bro, I'm one of those that, people too. Where like, you, know, if you got a good voice. I'm cool with it. In the history of the yeah. I watch you act or uh, whatever. Because the of fuck. all of the ramifications of this is the first time we're back at Daytona since since Dale's death. How is Dale Jr. going to respond? How are the fans going to respond? Has the DEI team going to respond? Remember those all night car rides and going through the tunnel and, and popping up and seeing those banks? Those started in 1975. And for the first time in 2001, I'm going to Daytona, somewhere I don't want to be. And that, that was confusing. It was, it was hard. <sighs> but eventually, a couple weeks before, I told Buffy, I said, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get revenge on that place. I'm gonna go win the race. I'm gonna go do a, do a, a burnout, the biggest victory celebration hmm. you've ever seen. And I'm gonna celebrate Dale. Wish it was still called the Pepsi 400. It's called the Coke Zero 400 now. Did you hear what I said? No. I said Coke is better than Pepsi. All right. <laughs> There's actually a a thing about like the Gordon versus Earnhardt rivalry where they talked about um, Jeff Gordon going to Pepsi. 
And uh, they they specifically said that like Jeff Gordon signed with Pepsi, Earnhardt signed with Coke. You know, so it was just like uh, you know. So me being a Gordon fan, though, I was all like, "Well, dude, you gotta drink Pepsi because Gordon's a Pepsi guy." So I had to drink Pepsi if I drank uh, if I drank anything. We're going back to the movie. Coca Cola is better. <laughs> Pepsi. All right. It's 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 okay. Pepsi. I'm not gonna All say right. Pepsi sucks because it doesn't. It's good, but <sighs> Coke is just like a little more spicier. Yo. That's All right. I'm gonna say. All That's right. All I'm gonna say. We'll have it's our debate. More bite we'll have it. our debate off cam. No, no, okay? no, 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 no. Yeah, you can hit. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He'll be coming and he will have fire in his eyes. This young man wants this. <laughs> in my opinion, in Badly. my opinion, this is the um, most important I didn't have any fear, I'll tell you that. I mean, when, you, when, you loot, when you're racing and your dad dies in a crash in the same um, race you're in, you, you're gonna wait you to don't see how have many much fear anymore about, about that statement. dangers and, you know, well, being heard. And okay, important. I, felt, I think it's the most important win in NASCAR history. Um, I don't okay, think any enough. win, I don't think any win any single win ever meant more than this one okay i understand that i understand that let's see yeah. if other people understand that though that made me that empowered me everybody has their own opinion My car is so dominant. I'm gonna go out here and I'll be surprised if anybody can can beat us. Still there, still there. To the outside of turn four. Dale Earnhardt Jr. rockets to the front of Daytona. Listen to He really just took that. Mm-hmm. You can hear the crowd roaring Man. over the sound of the engine. There was a late pit stop, and I knew I needed Look at to the three DEI cars. Get in and out of my pit in a hurry to, to get to my pit so I can go park. Michael Waltrip slid through his pit stall. He has to back up and now the oh, whole shit. stop. Oh, shit. They didn't even talk about how Steve Park won the race after Dale died. Really? Yeah, in this movie, they didn't. I wish they would have. It was a DEI car. Gotta give my man some credit or something. Or Harvick taking over the the, the, the good wrench team and then winning in Atlanta against Jeff Gordon. Ready to go. Michael has nowhere to go. That was that was Yeah, it is a rough pit stop for Michael. Damn, my holy Ryan Newman says screw it, he was heading to the grass. I was freaking last. And there was I don't know. Maybe maybe ten laps to go. And I drove like I've never driven before. Every move I like he wanted it. Every move I made worked. Michael Waltrip under Mike Skinner. You got it all clear all that, Mike. Michael Waltrip trying to become the first man to sweep a season at Daytona since 1982. He's up to third. Great Africa. Michael Waltrip dives underneath Bobby Labonte. Look at them they like hook up with each other. He knew Michael Walker was going low, so Dale Jr. said, screw it, you're, I'm bringing Coming you with me. The, the second turn was a couple team laps to go. I, it was such a great move. I mean, I'd come from the back, and I was all the way to second. Michael's behind me, and I felt pretty confident about that. I felt good about that, because at this point, it started to become this thing. So let's help each other. Can they talk to each other since they're like on the same team? They can't talk to each other, to each other but they're their team. They can relay messages. And I yeah, they can relay Jr. Bumper. Okay. And we come across and take the white flag, and and I'm coming down the back straight away, and I say, "There it is. I'm going to win this damn race. I'm going to win this race." Didn't, didn't even, didn't even try to make the pass. Instantly, I went from thinking I'm gonna, I'm blowing by this guy, to I'm pushing this guy. I'm gonna push him. 
Aww. He had a change of heart at like the perfect time. Even though it's not like he didn't watch this call. Ball. I got goosebumps everywhere right now. This is a crazy one. This was the ultimate redemption. Oh, oh shit! Single, there was a single person that didn't want to see that man win. Like, I saw Michael down there too. I was so glad, you know, that he made that decision to join me. I saw him, I saw him in there spinning around, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna celebrate too. Shit, there you go. He didn't get to celebrate in February. All right, Mikey, you never got to celebrate your win in February. You celebrate exactly. Now. Right. <laughs> when Dell Jr. got on my That's car, a bomb. Hugged, you cannot, and, you know, like, not be friends. At this that point. is for your dad. And, like, can't believe this. And I said, I love you, buddy. And uh. He said, you too. And then he dove into the crowd and crowd surfed off. Yeah, I'm too big to be crowd surfing. I, I could never push on <laughs> I said, kids these days. <sighs> that night, it just felt like all the pain, all the sadness and sorrow, it was gone. You know, it was just, it was gone. It was so real, you know, it was, it was, it was everything you'd hope a, a celebration would, would contain with 150,000 people joining you for it. But fact is, some finish to a race doesn't magically heal you. That has to come from inside. Yeah. And I convinced myself of that, that I wanted to be the winner that Dale wanted me to be. Ain't nothing like going fast at Daytona. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about letting off and cracking the gas and you just go. It's just the biggest thrill I've ever had. Why would you want to do something that you know darn well could kill you? I had never wanted to do anything else. I never, had any, never ever wanted anything as much as I want racing or, uh, or enjoy it or like it or would give up most anything in life to have it. Mm -hmm. Racing was his heart. Why? I was born in me, bred in me, I reckon. I think racing has all I think. I have let it get in my way of personal feelings a lot of times, and I've chosen racing a lot every time. It's just crazy. It's almost like he's, uh, it's like he's a myth now, you know? Yeah. That's what it feels like. I think if you if you take what happened on that February day and and look at it, it wasn't tragic. I mean, that sounds that's hard to say, but it was a moment when a man was doing just what he wanted to do and he was he was taken from from us but 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 he was he was racing with a purpose he was he was helping his buddy he was helping his son he was right where he wanted to be and the results for us on earth it feels tragic but for him, it could have been majestic, where he thought, there you go, 
I'll leave y'all with that. That's my final act. This movie reminds me a lot about another movie. That could very well be true. I'm assuming that's all. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they they talked a little bit about what happened. The race and community, re what did it say? Redoubled. Uh, just talking about their safety efforts since then. Oh, okay. Now it just plays them off again and has another copywritten song. Another copywritten song. We're just <laughs> yeah. gonna. So we're just, just sit there in silence there. and talk a, talk about our fav my favorite song in silence. Right. <laughs> like, bro. But no. So this movie, at least the way it just ended just now. Mm -hmm. Have you seen um, Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler? No, I have not yet. I've been meaning to, but... Okay, that movie's so good. It's on Netflix. You gotta watch it. I can't... Yeah, damn it, I can't spoil it, this shit. Never nah. mind. Well, Fuck. I'm assuming... Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to say... Um... He would like, like I feel like in that moment he was probably is, like at his like peak happiness, like Dale, like in that moment, gotcha. like he said he's helping his his son, he's helping. His All right, friend. well this is this is real life, so. Well, I know this is I know this is real life, but I'm just I'm just saying, like if you see the movie, you'd understand what I what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, it just That's it funny. went from such a happy moment to such a tragic moment so fast, like literally within seconds. Yeah. I feel like, um, man, just all that, man. Like, I, I, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't, you know. The eyes didn't get a little misty. It always does when I watch this. This is like the fifth time I've watched it. Um, and you still get teary-eyed every time. I wouldn't blame dude, you, though. This is like a part of your life. Like, this this, is this was a huge life. part of my life. Yeah. So it's, uh, like like I said, anytime that something like this comes out, you know, I, I love it. I love hearing this from like someone else's perspective that i've never seen you know yeah. like i said they didn't they didn't dive into the fact that uh steve park won the race after dale's death or a few weeks later kevin harvick taking over uh dale earnhardt's team and winning the atlanta race or um after 9 11 dale dale jr winning you know there was all these bits and pieces of like redemption for everybody that everybody got like their own slice of of you know like like, their, like they felt like, like they time. conquered yeah yeah it was their time to shine everybody had their moment basically so it's you know it's nice to it's nice to see another person's uh perspective on it yeah like seeing it from like Dale's perspective like from the very start when i watched the first movie and then the second wait was it the second one I'd be remembering sure. what order I'd be watching things in. But <laughs> either way, I got a lot of the backstory, and then seeing this just added even more to help me understand um, yeah. and put the whole story together in my head and understand everything. Um, but yeah, this movie was well done. 10 out of 10. I enjoyed watching it. Thank you for showing me. I'm not a problem. You. Appreciate you. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to thank you for getting me in a NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, and and also now they get to watch the blink of an eye without now they get to watch the blink of an eye with a reaction. Yes, without playing it, without looking it up on Amazon. Yeah, without without buying it on Amazon. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, if you want to see more reactions with uh, Kyle, let me know down in the comments, or you know, just we're probably gonna do shit anyways. Actually, why, yeah, why am I even we'll, asking? We'll do more. We're gonna do more shit regardless. But I I'm hope his resident. I'm his it. resident NASCAR guy, so you're fine. Very true. Very true. But yeah, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. I love y'all. Peace. They wanna fall. What? Back when I was down bad, was stuck in the mud. That nigga didn't cleaned up Louis V on the so so.